All right, patrons and my lovely she asses. Oh my goodness. (laughs) I cannot let this stand. I will not stand for this. (laughs) For this, I will not stand. This is a very exciting day because we're finally going to finish the movie version of the musical Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. The movie musical. Starring Donny Osmond. Wow. Straight to VHS. Yeah. I wonder how what the budget on this film was. Like I really it looks good, decent. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not great either, but it's not bad, but it's not great either. <laughs> like well, a couple is... million? Like it's about like the budget of a really, really highfalutin musical on Broadway. Well, it, it has that look of like musicals totally. that have been made into movies where they still look like a musicals. stage musical. Yeah. Right. Know? For sure. So where we left off last time was the brothers had come to Egypt and they sang their song about being like, grovel, 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 you know, we're not worthy. We're so desperate and hungry. You've got to help us, wise man who we don't know is Joseph, right? So yeah. just we're going to hop right back into that same song here, halfway through it, where Joseph is deciding to give them some food. Bravo. Which he does. Through a giant, it looks like a, a snare drum. But that like so shoots bread out like a at base the bread yeah. at them. So there's some like poor stagehand behind there having to throw bread. Oh, totally. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. They're like, uh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. It's hidden the side of the drum. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. So then the brothers all come here and they have this bread, which <laughs> sometimes. Okay, Donnie, chill. Is it corn? It's corn, actually. Oh, oh it's corn. They're okay. big pieces of what? corn, That's like ridiculous. the size They're of large loaves ever. of bread. <laughs> That's why I was confused. I see. Okay, so this is Joseph being sneaky. That's a bucket. That's not a sack. So in this one, he stuck it in the sack himself, though. He didn't have a... Uh, a uh, go-between mm-hmm. do it? Yeah. Well... So he All did right. that, and then, and then the brothers get up. Whoa! 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 Calm down. Yeah, Wait, what little... happened? They... So he planted the cup in his sack, and then he was like, "No, the cup is in your sack." Right. Okay. So here, like right of, away. Instead of them leaving and him chasing him down, I see. Here, it's like as soon as they start to leave, and also in this movie version, randomly we cut to. If you remember from a few bonus episodes babies. ago, there's like this gymnasium full of Mormon kids listening to this. How could we forget, really? Right. And that they also start standing up and yelling no at the brothers. Which is dumb because it's like Joseph did that and he planted it there. So why are you yelling no? It's a good point. The kids saw him do it. Like what's happening? Right. Well, maybe they were saying no to Joseph. While he's Mm. saying no to the brother. But I feel like Joseph is the one whose side everyone is on, at least in this film. We have to be. Yeah. He is the one whose name is in the title of the show. That's true. Okay. So he stops them all. Numbers up. One of you has stolen my precious golden cup. Joseph started searching through his. I thought it was a silver cup. Everyone was nervous. No one could relax. Silver was not flash enough for Broadway. Yeah, that's true. Is it Dan? Is it Dad? Asher? Is it Isaac? Is it Levi? Who's the man? Is it Zebulun? Is it Gad? Is it Judah? Is it him? Could it be? Could it be? Me? No, I'm Benjamin. Everyone loves me. Could it possibly be Benjamin? Oh, no. Oh, no. Benjamin! You nasty youth. Your crime. You nasty, nasty youth. You nasty youth. I think he said you nasty youth. I love that. I thought he said nasty goof. That's good, too, though. <laughs> But I do love that. Like next time, like uh, some you know teenager does something I don't like, I'll be like, "You, you nasty, nasty youth!" youth. <laughs> Just gonna what pick up like she asses. I'm sorry, and nasty youth. Yeah, that that showed your age a little bit there, Jace. Next time, <laughs> next time I see those dang kids, nasty youths. <laughs> okay, so so Joseph is yelling at old oh, Benjamo never here. In my whole career, have I encountered this before? Guards, seize him, lock him in a cell. Wow, what is he doing Throw on those the stairs? Frustrating himself. Uh, well. Japanese dog is a. Uh... Oh, kind of. 
Each of the brothers so this is different. Show him some mercy, almighty oh one, please. Oh, that's weird. He would not do this. He must have been framed. By you. Jail us and beat us. We should be blamed. Wow. So in this, uh, so that was interesting to me reading the real story because yeah. I remember from the musical all of them being like, "No, no, take us instead, like all of us, let him, you know, he's innocent because he's our younger brother." And in the thing, it's like actually no, it's just one of the brothers. Yeah, it's just which Only one was one? it? Probably Judah. It was Judah. It right. was Judah. Yeah, mm -hmm. just Judah who is like, "No, take me instead." Isn't he the oldest? No. Ru so far? No. Was Ruben? Ruben. Ruben's Ruben. the oldest. I'm pretty sure Ruben's the oldest. Yeah. Right. yeah, the sandwich was first. Oh. Yum. Um, so yeah, so they're like begging Joseph together. And I actually really liked the harmonies there. I thought that was quite pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. All right, I'm gonna skip ahead a bit. Look, Joseph, him. look, wait, hang on, hang Why on. Sorry, you look like past this like look weird this. swagger that Donny Osmond like, has. Mm, yeah, mm, what should I do with you? I do like him in this Egyptian makeup, to be honest. I mean, do you? He looks, I'm yeah. really not into this weird orange Egyptian Whoa. headdress. <laughs> what are they saying? Right. Is this what like is this? a calypso? Yes. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, Andy. I entirely, what? I entirely forgot about this number. Yes, what is this about? They were saying, "Oh no, not he! How do, he can, do, how do, can do, be do, accused do, do, as do, a mystery? Do. Like he's straighter than deep doll palm tree." Is the line there? Oh my goodness, um, this is not appropriate, <laughs> right? <laughs> like Andrew, Andrew, why? Andrew, Andy right. Webby, Andy Webby, Sir, yeah, Sir Lloyd, Sir Lloyd. <laughs> Sirloin steak. Sirloin steak. Can uh, I just can I just say again how much I hate the narrator? It's okay. You can say it one last time. I said it. Oh, okay. You're done. All right. I hate her. So they sing this calypso song, which uh, you know it is what it is. It's highly problematic. And then it goes back somber again after the calypso. And Joseph knew by this his brothers now were honest men. The time had come at last to reunite them all again. Can't you recognize my face? No, they Is obviously can't. If you're covered in makeup, bro. Yeah, you see all that eyeliner? Like nobody would Your recognize you. It's me. Your brother is me. I'm sorry, why would he be like, look at this cup, blah, 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 prostrate yourself towards me? Oh, actually, guys, it's okay. Can't you see I'm your brother? Well, he's testing them. That's not healthy. That's not a healthy relationship. <laughs> well, yes. Not a lot of healthy relationship examples here. Oh, he's falling on his neck. Look, that's that's what we were no, talking about. That's, that's There's some mutual hugging. necks. That was some on. mutual necking. <laughs> oh my okay, god, why happy. are the kids coming? Right, so, now what Joseph is, what is, is hugging happening? random kids on stage. What, oh yeah, there's a bunch happening? of children that have run on stage. Yeah. Why? Why? And they're running in circles and just everyone's so happy. Wow, wow these that must, these, Benjamin, these are the that's kids, some sick moves. These are the kids from the audience. They transformed into bright colors when they came there. Okay, so Jacob's making his way to Egypt right. alone, completely is... alone. Right, he's walking by himself through the fog of the oh, desert. Oh, jeez! <laughs> what? And look at this. Is that the Pharaoh? This, this is Joseph. Wow, what the hell? With like gold okay, armor so, yeah, on yeah, a Joseph chariot has... of gold yeah. Good... with wings coming out the side. Goodness! Oh my goodness! Good okay, goodness. so wait, hang on. This whole scene. Okay, so Joseph. Sorry, Jacob's walking alone in the desert. By himself 
for some reason. Yeah. And now Joseph yeah, is coming in this safe. amazing golden chariot to come meet him. Is that what I'm supposed to be reading from this scene? I guess, yeah. He's coming in his chariot. I have to take a quick screen capture of this and maybe let's put this on our Instagram or something. <laughs> wow. Because this still right here of yeah, Joseph it's pretty good. in his armor Goodness. is yeah, pretty wonderful. Send that to me. Wonderful. Send that to me. Yeah. Everyone needs to see it. Everyone. He looks so smug, too. He really does. Have you ever seen a more smug boy? He's never not been smug. He started out smug. He's going to end smug. There hasn't really been a much character development. Yeah, that's true. That's good. Joseph, never not smug. That's hashtag that's Joseph. We, hashtag jo- never, jo- not smug. never not smug. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the real. That. That's the real moral of the story here. Is never be not smug. Well, I guess like Yahweh will smile on you if you're if you're daddy's favorite boy and never not smug. I guess so. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's like if you're already born into a position of privilege, Yahweh's going to smile on you, which <sighs> I think we know. Uh, I'm pretty yeah. sure that that's how a lot of people think. Yeah. Mm. Not cool. We just got really political here, guys. Okay, yeah, we don't have to get so political. We can keep watching the end of the musical. I want to know what happens with this golden chariot boy. Yeah, I, I just took another screenshot here, friendly Thank to you. upload, of Goodness. the chariot with its wings. I can't wait to upload these. It's yeah. being everyone, drawn everyone by lions. Everyone needs to see them. Oh, I didn't see that. Gold lions are pulling gold this chariot. Gold lions, wow. What's happening there? It's what like a, a yoke. A yoke for the, the imaginary lions? Yes. Wait, turn up the music. Okay, turn up the music. Here we go. Look at it. Look at his stupid face. Oh, it. The, oh, no. Oh, oh, God. Jacob oh. just fell down in the smoke. Wait, is this going to be in the next episode? Not in the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no Bible verse about Dad, Jacob chill, jumping Dad. across the desert and collapsing in oh, the he's, smoke. He's oh, got he's his got coat. his coat. Oh, you're right. The coat has literally nothing to do with this movie. Yeah. Or the story. Right. They're gonna make out. It's gonna be so hot. So I don't know if you remember, but earlier in our first bonus episode, he sang this song, and now it's coming back. This is the song. So can you tell what what exactly is the point of this song? What is the message of this song that he's now singing to his dad? He's gonna make out with him. The message is, any dream will do. I think that's not a message. I feel like the message that Andrew Lloyd Webber's tried to make out of this story is that, like, if you believe in yourself, you can do anything. Or, like, if you have a dream, you can do anything. And now millennials happen, so that's not, like, <laughs> the thing to tell anyone. I'm kidding. I'm a millennial. Yeah, our generation proved that one wrong. <laughs> yeah. But Joseph made it made it happen for himself, so there it is. Actually, what is the Bible like like meaning here? Like, what's the the story? Well, I feel like we've talked about that. Where it's not. What's the moral? Is there a moral? Uh, I think there's some morals around like God having a plan for you because of you know like right. there's this whole story about the fact that it's like things looked pretty grim for Joseph he was thrown in a pit by his brothers attempted murder and then was a slave and then was just a king of prison but with patience and time like you know God made something really amazing out of him I think that was the moral that I remember being taught many times okay yeah there is kind of that sort of the message of like as long as God chooses you and you're on God's side and you're loyal to God like things are going to work out for you even if things are sh- crappy. Even wow. if things seem bad in the meantime. <laughs> that narrator is a handsome woman. <laughs> I, you know what? I've grown to like her over the course of this movie. She's... She was a little scary at first, but now she scares me like in a good way, you know? No, I don't know. <laughs> she She's I don't singing know. I'm not more quite on her sweetly. Team yet. She's singing Whoa, okay. sweet. Now, Whoa. everyone. Is this everyone in the cast? Everyone in the is, cast and all sure. the kids. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Richard Attenborough, they really could have made him look more like Richard Attenborough and less like <laughs> some guy that rolled around in mud for a while and then oh came up. <laughs> Just he looks very dirty, like his face looks very dirty. I don't know what that's about. Yeah. 
it would be strange. dirty if he's wandering around in the desert. But all the time. Joseph's not dirty. He's very golden looking he currently. Is. He's got a good spray tan going on. Joseph. Is Richard? Yes, he does. Is Richard actually singing? Did he actually say anything? He never said anything in that scene. No, I know. Spared no expense. Nothing. <laughs> that would be a great way to end the musical. Well, he's I just spared, like, no, spared expense. no expense. And, it and then ends. handed him, handed him <laughs> the coat again. <laughs> oh wow, it made a star. A star of David specifically. Uh, clever. Yeah. These kids are screeching. And the kids lose These their kids minds. Are screeching. <laughs> <laughs> the the freaking teachers on the side are screeching. What? Why, why are the teachers bowing? I'm confused. That's really weird. Oh my oh. god, that refrain is so similar to the Jesus Christ Superstar refrain. Yeah, it so really reminds me of it. Oh actually, my god, they just took out a couple notes and it's a Jesus Christ oh, Superstar wait, refrain. Wait, hang on, it's hang a, on, it's hang a, on. It's a Wizard wait, of Oz thing. On. They're Wizard of Ozing us. Yes, they are Wizard of Oz, I guess, because it's like all the teachers were the main cast members. Yeah, did you see that? We just saw Tony Osmond dressed up in a suit, looking all teacherly. Is that him? Right, and she was there, obviously. The narrator was was there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we saw that. The narrator. The narrator. But then I think that's the thing. It's like, and you were there? Oh, look at Richard Attenborough. Now looks like Richard Richard Attenborough. Attenborough. Yeah. As (laughs) Jacob. Jacob and Sons. Wait, hang on. So is the meta story here that like all of the teachers at this school put on this production of I think that's, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. I think that's what we're supposed to be getting. And now they're the coolest teachers ever and the kids yeah, are losing now the kids their yeah. freaking they're like definitely minds. They're the most awesome them. teachers they've ever met. It's right. a lie. They're actually not that amazing. But to be fair, if I was that age, I'd probably, I would what probably think that. Like if all the teachers at my school put on this like wacko, Whoa. very bright, Whoa. somewhat nude production yeah, of Joseph like and that, the Amazing Technicolor that, Dreamcoat, I would probably think they were the coolest teachers ever. So I'm yeah, sorry, that's true. that costume is not appropriate for middle school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're going, for those of you who are not watching this with us, which is all of you, they're going through all the Whoa. cast members in their teacher form, bowing at the school, and then cutting to them from the show. And they just showed Potiphar's wife in her boob cut out dress. Yeah, okay, so that was a little weird. Like, the fact that you have a film where you've edited together a scene of someone with their boobs out, and you've cross-faded into a shot of children cheering. Like, someone edited that scene and didn't think to say anything about that? They thought that it was totally fine. Yeah, you're right. That is a weird thing. And blame it on the person who created the costumes for this movie. Yeah. Ruben. So, so yeah, so all of these guys were teachers. Wow. Simeon. Wow. And Jeez. this goes on for a while now, I think. Because we're going to go through every single brother. All of the brothers. Well, okay, while this is playing out, what were your impressions of the musical now that you've actually listened to m- parts of most of it? One of <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber's <laughs> worst. Well, okay. Like, I don't know. It's it's fine. I guess it was it more clear to me heading into it dated. that it's like, like, like this, was written, this was written for kiddos, right? It was written for kiddos. It does seem a and little I bit think, written for kiddos, yeah. Yeah, and I think in that regard, I'm like, okay, sure. Solid kids musical, like totally into it. Definitely not quite as impactful or maybe as well crafted as like, you know, freaking Rent or something like that. But it's like, uh-huh. Or even sure, Evita. Okay. Evita is a well-crafted musical. Even but it's like, Phantom. okay, sure, I get it. Like, like let's look kiddos. at some of his other stuff. Yeah. yeah. But this was one of his earliest shows. All right, well, there it is. So, yeah, because you know. he, he was like 25, right? When he... Did we look up he, a, a name? I don't know. He was he was very young. Um, Did they show freaking Donny Osmond? I didn't even see him. Yeah, he was the, the first beginning. one. He was the first teacher. Okay, I, I wasn't looking. I wanted to see him in his Sunday best. Yeah. His teacher form. Yeah, I'll we'll have to watch back through it again. He was the one who tipped us off to the whole teacher alter ego yeah. thing. I just yeah. started watching when the narrator came in, and I was like, Ugh. "Yeah." Anyway, yeah, I guess I don't know. Something that I think would be interesting is I think it would be interesting if there was actually an update to this musical because I can appreciate the you know trying to do the pastiche of all the different genres, but it's like you know like the country song was like country from like. 30 years ago country. And so I just think it could be interesting 
to yeah. see a version of this musical when the genre is a little bit more updated. But I mean, I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but that's kind of where my That would be a to. pretty big rewrite of the show. It would be a I very think. big rewrite. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. They would have to change songs and a bunch of stuff. So I'm, I'm rewatching the intro of the movie now and you do see all those characters. I see. Now they that I know. Very little screen time. Yeah, you see them very briefly and they all look so stern and I didn't even suspect it. Now I'm like, oh, right, that's Donny Osmond. And like, oh, that, and there's Richard Attenborough. Where's and Donny Osmond? He's the second teacher. Is he? And, and there's Richard Attenborough. Yeah, I see him. Like looking more like Jurassic Park. <laughs> you know, that's that's Donny Osmond is it? there. Yeah, he's the, the second guy from the left. Anyway, sorry, this is probably boring radio for those of you listening and not seeing the screen. But definitely check out this YouTube video and go back to the beginning and see if you can spot all of the characters in the beginning. I had never realized that was a thing. Like when I watched this in preparing for doing this musical when I was a kid, never caught that. Never caught the fact mm. that the teachers were, I guess I probably just stopped when the credits started. I was like, like okay, whatever, bye. bye. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Or maybe I just watched the Pharaoh scenes over and over again. I don't mm, know. Yeah. Anyway. Well, All so right. I don't, I mean, this definitely isn't, hasn't become my favorite musical, but I do appreciate that you ha- kind of have an adorable fondness for it. Yeah. And again, again, I just really want to see video of you in this production, you and your little bro. I know. Like, that's I'll have to that's look what I want to see. I'm much more interested in that. Like forget Donny Osmond. <laughs> Maybe that can be um, a Patreon reward if we get a certain number yeah. of patrons. That, yeah, uh, then everyone can see the Jason the Lindgren videos. footage. Yeah, I'll have to see if my stepdad has it. I'll have to ask him about that over the holidays. That would be fun. All right, well, thank you two so much for watching this musical with me. And I hope everyone at home enjoyed it and are excited to put on a community production of it in your town. <laughs> We'd love to hear all about it. Yeah, let us know all about it. Oh, man. All right. Thank you all so much. And we'll see you next week. 